What's up guys, JP back at you once again, bringing you guys episode number 17 in my 2017 Shelf by Shelf series. Basically, I show you guys everything I have in my collection and talk about each title a little bit, so let's move on here. We have Stephen King's It, which I am absolutely a huge fan of. I often forget just how big of a fan I am of this film, and you know, it's, it's one of those movies that is just really good you know it's it's scary i love the like stand by me friendship angle that's in the film the losers club the only problem is the ending and i finally read 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 i finally read the original stephen king novel and i kind of understand why this film ended up the way it did because stephen king's explanation of the it creature um is very complex and it's really hard to kind of put that to screen um, because it's a lot of exposition and even as much as Stephen King explained it, it still didn't make, you know, it, he didn't explain it a hundred percent. So I could kind of understand where, why the ending happened the way it did. Um, but really looking forward to the remake. After that, we have my other copy of it here, which is a snapper case. It's faded. Um, I've had this DVD in the collection forever. It's not in great condition, but I've just not gotten rid of it, even though I did get a different, better version after that, we have Jack Brooks' Monster Slayer, starring Robert England. This is a comedy, but it's actually really fun. Um, this was one of my very first pick of the weeks on the original uh, 22 Shots of Moods and Horror, like, first couple episodes. It might have been my very first pick of the week, if, I, if, I, if my memory serves me correct, way back on, like, episode 2 or something. But it, it's a solid movie. I haven't watched it since, but I liked it back then. After that, we have Jacko Lantern, or Jacko. This movie is awful. I barely remember anything about it. It's just not a good movie. Uh, I cannot recommend it. Do not watch Jack O' Lantern, as curious as you might be. After that, we have Jaws. Um, Jaws is classic. Absolutely love Jaws. Recently got a chance to see it on the big screen in the theater. It was really awesome, even though I fell asleep a few times. Not, not really fell asleep. I nodded off a little bit, but, you know, I've seen Jaws a hundred times. I know what's going on in there. Absolutely love the SS Indianapolis scene. That whole part of the movie is my favorite part. Jaws 2, um, the guys really hated on this one. I didn't find it to be that bad, honestly. Like, I actually kind of liked it a little bit. It's just a little too long. Jaws 3, on the other hand, they liked it. I did not. I think this movie's awful. Uh, I would like to see it in 3D. Maybe my ch uh, feelings would change a little bit, but um, so far, no dice on seeing it in 3D. After that, we have Jaws The Revenge, which is <clears throat> just awful. Uh, this movie is is really, 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 really a bad movie. I can't believe that it was like a mainstream movie. Uh, that cover is bad as well. After that, we have John Carpenter. Um, Fear is just the beginning. This is a documentary, I believe. I have not watched this yet, honestly, so one day I will get around to checking it out. Uh, I picked it up a while ago and just never got around to it. Then we have Jonah Lives, which is uh, honestly a movie that I've never watched yet. Um, it just, just does not look that interesting to me honestly a rude spiritual awakening just sounds awful after that we have joyride which i'm a huge fan of i actually always forget how much i like this film it's it's a really good like horror thriller uh starring the the late paul walker who um died a little young um this is this is a great movie though like i, I always forget just how good it is until i watch it and i'm like oh yeah like this is actually a really solid movie i think we lump it in with those movies that came out around the same time that just aren't good but this is actually a good one i haven't seen any of the sequels after that we have a double feature here jeepers creepers one and two i've never upgraded these to blu-ray um but i do I do like both of them quite a bit. Jeepers Creepers 1, scary. It actually scared me when it came out. Jeepers Creepers 2, um, I also find pretty scary. I like both of them a lot, despite, you know, Victor Salva. I have the special edition here of Jeepers Creepers 2. I've had this in the collection for a really long time. I've, I've watched a lot of special features on it and stuff, but, yep. <clears throat> I, I got this one just for Part 1, because I already owned Part 2. After that, we have Juon. Uh, not a huge fan of this movie, honestly. Um, it's non-linear timeline confused me. I just didn't have a, a great experience with it. it. It's like a 7 out of 10, but considering what people usually rate this film as, <clears throat> I didn't love it. After that, we have One of the Dead. Um, I've still not got around to checking this out, even though I, I've heard that it's actually pretty solid. It's pretty good zombie comedy. Uh, after that, we have The Jungle. I've never watched this, just been in the collection. It's one of those films that I bought for a year that we were covering, like 
2015 or something just never got to it so therefore it'll probably be like in the collection forever without me actually seeing it junk food horror fest scarlet fries um the chemical burn i'm not a huge fan of chemical burn so i've, I've never actually watched this i think it's an anthology killer be killed this movie wasn't too bad it was a uh, kind of riding the coattails of uh bone tomahawk the year the next year uh not as good but still pretty all right uh killer bees 2002 film starring c thomas howe not too bad honestly like i didn't hate it uh one of the kids from shameless is in this film i believe uh mickey so that's pretty interesting he was a young kid in it uh killing room bad movie can't really recommend it nick cannon chloe savini but just not good. <clears throat> Killing Spree, I actually can recommend this. This is awesome. Looks shot on video, but I believe it is not. I actually really like this movie though. It's Tim Ritter, uh, low budget awesomeness. Killjoy Goes to Hill, Hell, the best Killjoy film in the series. Uh, really, really like this one. The Killjoy films are funny because it's like, the first one is awful, the second one is awful, but a little bit better. The third one is a step up from that, and then Killjoy 4 is actually pretty good. So, <laughs> it's funny, they get, they progressively get better. Uh, King Kong and Son of Kong, absolutely love King Kong, never watched Son of Kong. Um, but King Kong is my shit. After that, we have King of the Ants. Um, I have not watched this one, but it's from Stuart Gordon. Uh, so I'll check it out eventually. And finally we have Kingdom of the Spiders. This is not a good edition. This is, uh, I don't even know who put this out. Good times. Yeah, but uh, Code Red recently released it on Blu-ray, I think. Absolutely love Kingdom, Sp Kingdom of the Spiders. But yeah, been a while since I've seen it. Anyway, guys, that is number 17. See you guys in number 18.